Artificial turf lets the games go on no matter the weather. Having been a coach, once it starts raining, you have access to fields more when they're turf. The city of Malden wants to turn this grass park to turf to create more space for sports. Neighbors say replacing grass with plastic turf will bring environmental and health hazards and rob the neighborhood of natural green space. They haven't listened to the neighbors and instead they've elevated the organized sports voices over the neighbors here. The park sits alongside the Salem Wood School in an area where the majority of residents are non-English speaking. Fifth grade science teacher Kathy Sullivan sees the grass field as a vital resource for local students. They're losing green space in a very congested urban environment, in a place where these kids get to run for 20 minutes a day, maybe before school, after school, and many of them go home to apartments and they don't have that. This is, this is their green space that they're taking away from them. Turf fields are made of plastic grass blades with various types of fill material. Research has found turf grass itself contains forms of PFAS, chemicals that don't break down and accumulate in waterways and the food chain. If we are concerned about hazards in a particular material, even if it is a very minute amount of, of chemical that's, that may be present in that material, we're talking about an entire football field that's covered in it. Unlike grass, plastic traps heat, raising temperatures on the field and in the neighborhood. And despite claims that it can be recycled, research shows old turf mostly ends up in landfills. We've found many cases where old turf is being dumped, sometimes in the woods, uh, or they're being dumped on leased land and, and just kind of sitting there waiting. City officials declined to speak on camera, as did the head of the city's youth soccer program, who calls the turf versus grass debate one of the most contentious in the city. It's not just Malden. So yelling questions at me, throwing pencils to get my attention really won't work. In Nantucket, it's the proposal for turf has been put on hold. And in Martha's Vineyard, the battle over this high school field went on for seven years. We've had a Board of Health agent resign um, because of concerns for her safety, feeling threatened um, related to this issue, a host of other, you know, just kind of ugly, ugly examples. A growing number of local communities, including Sharon, Wayland, and Concord, have issued moratoriums on new turf fields. Turf or not, Malden's Roosevelt Park needs work. Lead's been found in the soil. Plans to remove it are on hold until the field is redone. Liz Nislaus, GBH News.